In this video, my client and I are going to analyse the performance within the six-week plan. We will also compare his new and improved results to the normative data and the original ones taken at the beginning. The four tests that we carried out were back squat, clean and jerk, sit-ups and press-ups. The back squat result came in at 88.4 kilograms, the clean and jerk was 55 kilograms, you managed 33 sit-ups in the minute and 40 press-ups in the minute. Compared to the normative data for the back squat, it put you at an intermediate level, so the aim there was to get you to the advanced level, which is 92.5 kilograms, which means you needed to get a 3.9% increase on the original result. Your clean and jerk result placed you in the novice category, which allows improvement to intermediate, which was 60 kilograms. Your sit-up test puts you at an intermediate level, which means you can improve to advanced, which required a 20% increase to 40 and your push-ups already put you at an advanced level, which means you can increase to expert level. This required a 25% increase to 50. Throughout the program, we were constantly balancing it so that reversibility didn't happen on a different part of your overall fitness. By doing this, we were able to give each part of the body enough recovery between the sessions, which in turn allowed us to work at a higher intensity. This helped you to progress more rapidly than it would otherwise. Another part of the plan that worked well was the intensity levels that you worked at. As you worked at a, high at a high intensity all the way through the program, your results increased dramatically when it came to retesting. Because the program was over six weeks, it gave enough time for improvements not only to be made, but for them to show when testing. This allowed for an easier tapering stage to prepare for the retests. Your progression throughout the plan was clear from the second week, as in the sessions you were not sweating as much or breathing as heavily afterwards. Progression also happened within the sessions. As if the work rate didn't seem high enough, I raised the intensity level during it. This helped to make improvements quicker come the end of the plan. The improvements that you made were 94 kilograms on the back squat, which is an improvement to the advanced level. Your clean and jerk result was 62 kilograms, which is a 3.85% increase on your original result, putting you at an intermediate level. Your sit up test result was an improvement of nine sit-ups, putting you at an advanced level with 42. And your press-ups came in at 48, which although it is not a jump to the next level, it is still a huge increase of 20%. In a future plan, your smart targets would change. These changes would be the sessions would be specific to lower body endurance, as in this one we mainly focus on upper body. This would be specific to your game as you need to lower body as you need lower body endurance to keep running for the full 90 minutes of a game. The plan would be measured in the same way as this, this one, as it is the same component, just on a different part of the body. The sessions would be made achievable by setting targets that are higher than the ones in this plan, because I can increase the intensity easier because you're used to using your legs a lot more. The sessions will be realistic as the exercises will be based on circumstances that occur in football matches, whether it being sprinting for the ball near the end of the game or jumping for a header at the start. It will all be based around football. The plan will be time bound to one mesocycle of six weeks so that enough improvements can be made to the results.